it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to rest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nintendo. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on well, it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dean. Herb Dean, our referee Lee for this fight. one. Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. Oh, a nice counter there with the hook after he blocked the previous shot. Straight right is there. Nice. Nicely done. Got the hook in quickly. Bunches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. So more output at least in the early going. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Just misses there with the left. Takedown defense is there. Another clinch position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. Oh, big up. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Beautiful jab land. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high crotch and just following the action. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong 
to allow for himself to get subbed. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time out. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Great top on that double leg. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Lee getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. That was a slick transition. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Lee. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half. -guard. This is a terrible position. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Thought about a choke, instead flattens him out, and now he's got a lot of options offensively, Jack. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down on ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he's in half guard now. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Lee. Gotta be careful here. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Lee. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Leads right back to the full mount here. Waiting seconds here of this opening round. Good work from the top here by Lee. Another ground and pound strike lands. He oh, he's got a better move. Yeah, he's got a move, John. He's got to shrink and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture right, to land that big damage. Deep breath. Breathe into that nose, out to that mouth. All right, here's some water. Listen. Your kicks are working. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready, from the fight. top position. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not going to recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no action to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body with his hands. And that's the detail that everybody missing. He's sitting in that half guard and his bottom half is secured to the ground. So his top half is moving. It's adjusting. He's pulling his hand on the space, dropping the elbow. He's able to pull back. He's throwing his punches. There is a real, real, right. there is a real intelligence in his approach to his ground and pound. It is truly, truly great to watch. It is unbelievable to watch a guy so skilled in such an important area of the fight. Nice counter left hook. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Oh, beautiful combination to get the knockdown. Oh. 
really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. It all comes together. Nothing feels better. To go up. Nice sub attempt. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Submission. He was in very deep, but he made slight movements, got off to the side, slipped his right arm out, and found safety. Great job defensively. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now he's going full mount. He's going to be trying to get back to his feet. Grounded him. And pounding him. Nice job. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. He's got to be careful here. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Get the ball here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Ref won't help you here. Just as the ref takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, Ooh, that was deep, but he got out. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing shot. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Left eye starting to swell significantly now. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, that one looks really tough, DC. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Nice positional control here. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Leads right back to the full mount. All right, All right that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn, the round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Tries to work it into a takedown. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really strong. 
starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Nice punch there by Lee. That is how you scramble, folks. Oh, how about the timing and the execution to get the ankle pick? Right on the button. South position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. All right, side control now. Three minutes now to go in round three. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Lee's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Stop there. He took a strong top position himself. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Now he's got good body position. Yup. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, so some high level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd. No surprise there. I loved it. I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see strikes, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to the Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh. Able to check that kick as well. Some separation. Oh, another one. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Stuff to take down, no problem. Lee gets tattooed by that stiff jab. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, single collar tie now. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. 
He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. First round now, fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Defense holds up. Oh. Oh. Big, big strikes continue to land. Maybe if I go, it's going to help you to stop it anyway. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC.